All right, guys. Here's actually a calcium deficiency in peppers. This is the same video I posted earlier with the smart pots and same system and everything there. But what I'm trying to show you here is, and you can kind of already see in that center leaf there, kind of the crinkling effect. And then you'll also get a distinct curling. You can see it on some of these other leaves here. And then if you get really close into it, you can see kind of the purple veining. Now all of this is classic calcium deficiency signs uh, in peppers specifically, but also most other plants. And we got this for two reasons. One, we're growing in coconut, and coconut has a high cation exchange capacity. That basically means coconut has a high ability to attract and hold on to cations. And calcium is a major cation. Uh, as far as nutrient goes, plays a key role in plant communication uh, within the plant. And so we have to charge our initial nutrient solution with high amounts of calcium to make up for that initial capture from the coconut. And on top of that, we're using reverse osmosis water. And so that basically means we've pulled out the natural calcium that's in most tap water. So with those factors, we are definitely sure on our calcium. So I've gone ahead and upped the parts per million on our calcium to about two to 300 parts per million. And so we'll see improvement in the new leaves, but unfortunately calcium, well not unfortunately, but in our circumstance, calcium is a non-mobile nutrient. So that means it's not going to be able to relocate itself within the plant. So it's not going to be able to correct these leaves that are already, that have already been affected and kind of mutated there. But the new growth will be fine. And then the fruit production should be, should be fine as well. It's just starting to fruit and I think we caught on to it early enough. So and here's that tall random pepper again. So yeah, there's a calcium deficiencies in hydroponic peppers.